Well, her natural connection to animals has captured the praise and attention of one of Hollywood's best directors. Zaley Bullen was 39 years old when she reinvented herself. The Perth-born stunt woman followed her passion and landed the role of horse trainer on Steven Spielberg's blockbuster movie, War Horse. Now, from there, her newfound career took off. Zaley has since trained animals on the sets of popular films like Charlotte's Web, Racing Stripes and Croc Dundee in Los Angeles. And now she's just wrapped up training pelicans, would you believe, for the remake of Storm Boy. How do you train a pelican? Uh, Zaley Bullen joins us now. She might tell us. Hi, yeah. Zaley. Hi. Welcome. Hi, thank um, you. How did you go from being a, a working stunt woman to then working with animals? You know, I wanted to work with animals my whole life. That's, mm. that's what I knew. As a little girl, my happiest memories and calmest memories were being with animals. So I guess I thought I needed to be a veterinarian back in the day, you know, when I was little. And yeah. um, when I was 19, my life changed. My sister was killed in a car accident and it completely changed my mindset on the way I look at life and the way I believe things roll. And I, instead of being such a planner, it was more like, go, go, go and do All it. Right. And um, it showed me the unpredictability of life, basically brought it to the forefront. So I mm -hmm. saw a um, Palomino horse rear up on a commercial one day. I jumped in my car and I moved across Australia from Perth where I grew up to the Gold Coast to meet the beautiful horse trainer at Movie yeah. World at the time and he was my stepping stone, Tony Jablonski, a very generous hearted man. Yeah. Throughout my career actually, yeah. So I just, I, I, would, I would work in stunts, in answer to your question, mm. I'd work in stunts to get money, to go and meet somebody else, to go and sit on the fence and watch them and... Wow. Yeah. So War Horse was your first movie as a horse trainer. Talk about stepping in at the deep end. Oh, right? uh, that's, uh, not, that's not quite right. So I, I was, I had, I had done some other films but I ended up on the set of War Horse. Right. Yeah, what so, was that like? Um, it was pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Steven Spielberg is an incredible man. Obviously, he's a genius. Um, but he's also a very warm, softly spoken man. And, and the pressure, of course, is intense because he's expecting the best all of the time. Mm -hmm. um, and, and as an animal trainer, the bond and the connection that we have with the animals, it's incredibly important not to convey that pressure down and through to the animal. So that was probably the biggest, one of the biggest challenges. And then he, I understand he set the end of filming, uh, all of the love that you put into your animals has come out and, and we see it on the, on the screen. I mean, yeah. that's, that's beautiful praise from yeah. one of the world's best directors. Yeah, and it, and it was incredibly mm. important to me too because for me that's what, that's what I consider is my specialty is I'm a very emotive person and I'm I, you know I think that training an animal scientifically is important but I have only recently in the last few years actually learnt more about the science of animal training so for me it's all about getting inside the animal's head and seeing what makes it tick and seeing what makes a training session fun because someone like Spielberg on a set of something like War Horses is expect where the, where the animal is the hero of the story, right? Yes. He would be expecting as good a performance from the animals as he would from mm -hmm. the human beings. Yes. Being. In fact, he sent us off. Um, there was four of us Liberty Horse trainers on that film. Mm. And he sent us all off to go and, go and watch the play that he had seen that had inspired him to, to right. turn it into a film. And I watched that play and just shook in my boots the whole time thinking, oh my gosh, he... I think he's going to think that we can get all of that on camera. Yeah. You know, and there, there's a man in <laughs> doing, I've doing animated movies. I've seen movies. them play. They're puppeteers. Yeah, and they're, beautiful. Oh my God, very, very pressure. clever. Tell us about some of the other films. Uh, there's Croc Dundee in L.A., Charlotte's Web, Racing Stripes. Some standout moments for you. Um, actually, one of my favourite films that we worked on um, mm. was The Legend of Zorro in Mexico. Um, I went over to be a pig trainer and a donkey trainer and ended up staying for the duration of the film helping... Bobby Lovegren, who was the master horse trainer. And, you know, for me, the, the connection with the animals is the most important part. It's mm -hmm. not so much how, it should be how successful the film is, but it's, it's what animals I worked with and what people I got to meet and work with. And the local Mexican people were just unbelievably happy, beautiful people mm -hmm. with so little. Um, I got to work with this beautiful donkey who had a, it's, it's in our book actually, my mm -hmm. sister wrote a, my biography. Um, and it's the story is in that and it's, it's very very close to my heart. It was a little donkey who I don't think had a whole lot of will to live. He hadn't had a very nice existence I don't think and bringing him out to become this little trusting soul in me was was uh, an amazing part of my career. Oh, if only oh, you spoke that's... about the little donkey you work with like that. <laughs> Oh, that's going to make me cry. How beautiful. Um, yeah, Lovely to see you. That's really amazing. beautiful stories. Thank, Thank you. you. What a great much. job. When I grow yeah. up, that's what I want to do. Oh. I'd like you to train me a pelican. <laughs> I'd like to take a pelican for a walk on the beach. Thanks so much. Thanks You're so. welcome. Uh,